Yeah, the banks at the moment, uh, obviously they've got so uh, $30 billion in bond. So they have the ability to lend a lot of funds, uh, especially right at this moment. And interest rates are so jolly cheap. They've, they're inundated with applications for lending. But what I'm sensing is people are still saying, but it's so hard to get, get funding for to buy a home. I'm sensing at the moment that I like to put myself in the shoes of the bank. You've got every applicant coming in for a job. Naturally, if you're an airline pilot, you would normally be eligible. Uh, and so I'm, I, I can sense that they'll be afraid to loan money to the airline pilot because the airlines are closed down. And where's the airline pilot gone? He's gone and worked to stack shells in the supermarket. So perhaps for a person who's stacking shells in a supermarket is a better bet to, for in terms of um, lending. And I think that the market is actually, and I'm not a financial buyer by the way, but I'm sensing that the market is absolutely upside down. There's lots of money. It's at a very good interest rate. It's crazy that you can buy properties in central suburbs of Auckland and it'd be cash flow positive. But the bank is more worried that not what you earned in the last home, not what your skills are currently at the moment, not what your current wealth is. They're worried about, well, will you have a job in five months or three months or two months or even in a year's time? I think this is what they're worried. And then of course they have to go through a selection process. And I think that is why they're being a lot harder. I'm seeing people who are just doing simple jobs, but they're working uh, in a health industry obviously not able to get a job but if they're in an alternative entry that even though it's uh, a business of some sort who knows where that business is going to be come after the uh, three months four months time and that is the difficulty I think with the bank so uh, obviously for a person who's going to apply for lending they need to go in to show that they have a strong future and uh, I think this is the dilemma the bank has who do they lend to? The one who's got lots of funding, lots of equity, great job, um, or the one who's now got a more secure job for the future today. Yeah, I have students that are still getting funded, uh, although the applications are certainly taking a lot of longer, right? And the end results is generally, if they're buying a secure property and that they're showing that they've got a secure employment, yeah, the funding is there for them. But for those, if, uh, uh, who are maybe uh, in a business or, or working for someone in a business, I think there are concerns there.